Hi, I'm Melinda Lerner, owner of Blair Management. You're watching Focus on Management on the Virtual Channel Network. I've had Blair Management. I started Blair Management eight years ago. It is named after my beautiful niece. And I re represent a diverse selection of talent. I, I do have some kids. I have 19 to 67. And I do represent talent that I, I call talent in development. I, I come from an acting background. I started acting when I was a child, probably seven or eight, in Syracuse, New York, in community theater. I was a little lost boy in a production of Peter Pan. I was in The King and I, and then I moved out here and just started acting right off the bat. And the great thing is I always look so younger, so I always look much younger. So I just love acting. I, I love just everything about it. I was only 10 and my mother was so involved, loved the entertainment industry, always wanted to be an actress herself. So up we did. We moved from Syracuse, New York and landed in Tarzana, California. As I started auditioning, once I came out here, I had the pictures taken and just started dancing and acting immediately when I got out here. And, you know, I remember I was taking, I was going to be in the John Forsythe um, there was a television show called To Rome With Love or For Rome To Love. I was going to play a little Italian kid. I know we think this is natural, but I do have dark hair. And I was taking Italian dialect lessons. Well, they left out telling my mother that they canceled the show. So I'm still learning how to say my base of bala. I don't know if I ever made that conscious decision. What happened... I and I was working as a bar as a cocktail server, and uh, I answered an ad in the Hollywood Reporter to be an agent assistant, and I just was really good at it. And I was basically running the agency by myself and bartending at night. And then I interned. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I interned at at three different places, three casting directors, and then I just started taking jobs, like on productions, like on features, like Flight of the Intruder. These were all jobs to, so I could have money for pictures and acting classes, and I worked in the art department, I worked in special visual effects, and I have some funny stories, but they could take a while. <laughs> well, I did work craft service on a film called Original Sin with Charlton Heston. And that and that's like, you know, you're seeing Moses, you know, that's pretty incredible. And then I worked in the art, I worked in the accounting department on Lethal Weapon 2. And one of the stories that happened is I was walking through the lot and the hair guy approaches me and says, okay, we were looking for you. You're going to be in these unauthorized biography of the making of Lethal Weapon 2, and he introduces me to Mel Gibson, and Mel's telling me he's the star at that time. I mean, he's the biggest star in the world, and he says, okay, we're going to pretend that we're coming out of this huge party out of Danny Glover's trailer, and so, like, hang on me. You know, act drunk, and hang on me. Uh, okay, biggest star in the world, I'll hang on him. So I hung on him for two takes. He said, eh, a lot less drunk. Nibble on my neck. A lot more or less. I'm nibbling away. And then, um... I went and watched it in Richard Donner's trailer, and then I got left on the cutting room floor. Absolutely, and I, I think it's twofold. I think knowing what the actor goes through, I have a sympathy and an empathy for that and all the training, and, and, and it's a craft, and you have to learn it, and you have to be up on it, and you have to study, and you have to research it. And on the other hand, um, I think that maybe I could be a little hard because it's called show business for a reason, and you have to learn that business, and you have to know what's going on in your business. And I think that maybe I don't get why actors, I'll say, oh, are you po you have a you know profile and actors access? No, I just I can't fathom that in this world right now. Of not you know submitting yourself, it just doesn't make sense to me.
some of them are referrals and others are I find them in workshops I go to theater um, and I can go and showcases great you know showcases of scenes some of them have worked out you know and <laughs> other showcases maybe are a little long but most of the time and casting directors refer me people and other agents refer me people and that's always wonderful because you know you're probably getting a good talent because they're worth a reputable agent you know so that's always a wonderful thing 